Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use our new masking tool for Shot Tracer Pro on PC and Mac OS. You can obviously see me here using a Mac OS device, um, but Shot Tracer Pro is identical for PC and Mac. So everything I'll be going through today will apply identically to PC. So let's get started. So we have our um, traced videos right here and we want to obviously make sure that the lines come out behind the tree instead of in front of a tree because you don't get that perception as if the ball flew over the tree if the line obviously is in front of the tree. This can be easily resolved with our new masking tool and all you need to do is right here in the um, shot tracer section all the way at the bottom you'll find a mask and you want to make sure this is activated after you have positioned the landing point because once you activate the masking tool you won't be able to reposition um, the landing the landing spot um, until you uncheck it so obviously i can't i can't reposition but now i can start drawing i can make my drawing area larger or smaller and depending on the size i'll be able to zoom in or not use zoom in so I'm just gonna use um, the return tool right here to um, X out of the um, additions I made. And what I'll do now is I wanna make sure I can start a little bit away from the line and work myself towards the line. And you wanna make sure you don't like draw over the line that you want to be in position basically in the video. Meaning I don't wanna draw over the ascend line if I'm only trying to hide the descend line. All right, so I'm drawing over it right here. And that's it. I've done a pretty good job. If I did a mistake, I can always choose a re the, the return button right here and go a step back. But I've done a great job masking out the descent line. So the line will now appear as if um, the ball fly was literally over the tree, which it was in this situ situation here again. So I hit, uh, we hit this nice little fade to the left part of the fairway right here. Again, we wanna make sure that we position the landing spot and now use mask and we'll use it again for the descent part of the line and we'll just draw over the area where we have, whoops, that was a little bit too much. So I, as you can see here, I drew a little bit too high. Let's do that on purpose because the tree, as you can see, starts here, but I can now use the minus tool and then what the minus tool allows me to do is remove the area where I feel I went too far a little bit. All right, um, that was a little bit too much taking away. So now I use the plus, the plus tool, and I'll add a little bit more. Perfect. So now I have masked the video. I've masked two lines in two different videos, and I'm ready to export. Uh, yeah, and that's it. That's really everything there is to our new masking tool. Um, enjoy it's a great great feature to be very creative with so we really look forward what kind of awesome videos you guys will be able to produce with the new masking tool for shot tracer pro on mac os and pc